What's going on guys? I'm back with a TV and movie podcast and today I have for you Attack on Titan Season 3 Episode 14. Last episode we saw that the Scout Regime members made it back to Shinigami District and they wanted to repair the walls but they were met with some enemies. They saw Rainer and Rainer started to turn into a Titan and this episode he's fully in Titan form and he starts to climb up the wall. And I'm um, not sure why he wants to climb up the wall. I'm not sure at all. But he's starting to climb the wall. And then Aaron, everybody's like on top of the wall at this point. Arwen, Aaron, Armin, Casa, everybody. So they're all on top of the wall. And they see all these titans. They even see the beast titan. They see everybody outside of the wall now. Because they're all outside the wall just staring them down. They were wondering where the Titans were. They're not inside the walls. They're outside the walls. And they see them. Then they see a strange Titan with a backpack on. He has a backpack on like luggage. Like he's carrying something. And so they're thinking, so these Titans are intelligent. And they also wonder back in the forest there was a Titan there. That was just stood there in the moon night and did nothing. And so they're thinking maybe that's the same Titan that was outside in the forest that now has this luggage on his back maybe he was the one that alerted the beast titan that we were here and so they were prepared to trap us and which is what they're doing basically because they're not going to attack the scouts they're just sitting there waiting for them to get out like 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 sitting ducks type thing like you know how a lion kind of stalks his prey this is kind of the same situation with we see with the titans and the scouts then we see Arwen, he starts to make a plan. He's like, all right, we can't just go attack him. So what we need to do, we need a, we need a plan. So he instructs people to do different things. He instructs Mikasa and other scout regime members to go after Rainer. He instructs Levi and um, actually instructs Aaron to uh, follow them as well but to distract Rainer so they want to use Aaron as bait to distract Rainer because what Rainer wants to do is kill the horses and if they kill the horses that means the Scott regime and members can't go anywhere they just have to stay there so Rainer's after the horses Aaron's there to distract Rainer from killing the horses and he tells Levi to stay back to protect the horses and to also notice what the beast titan is doing and see if there's an opening or if there ever will be an opening to go and have Levi kill the Beast Titan. And so that's the plan right now. And when we see Arwen approach, I mean Aaron approach Rainer, Rainer understands that this is their plan. That Aaron is there to bait him into chasing him so he doesn't kill the horses. And Rainer knows that. And he still chases Aaron. So I'm thinking that, yo, Rainer, is, is he that dumb that he, he knows what, he's just going to follow Aaron? Like, you know exactly what he's doing. Why are you just following him? And I guess, you know, this is this is what they say. Is they basically say that Rainer has no choice but to, to uh, chase Aaron. Because what if Aaron goes outside of the walls, escapes, and then now it's kind of like... Oh, the the Beast Titan and all these other mini Titans are there. And they, it's like they, they have this whole plan to entrap the scouts. But if Aaron is there and causing destruction around them, then they have no other choice but to focus their attention on Aaron. And so Rainer chases after Aaron so that doesn't happen. I guess I kind of understand that. But if I'm Rainer, I'm like... Bro, they probably have a plan to kill me. Why am I chasing Aaron? I think I think Rainer just wants to try to beat Aaron up because he didn't really have the chance to because Aaron molly whopped him season two. Remember, the only reason why Rainer's still here because Berthold bailed him out. And I think Rainer just needs to throw in the towel. Just how, you know, Fusi threw in the towel when he fought Deji, man. You know what I'm saying? So it's just... It's just like, Rainer, give it up. Just admit that you're weaker than Aaron and just call it raps. Even Aaron in this episode said the same thing I said a while back when we were watching it. When we were watching the fight between Aaron and Rainer, 
I said that, hey, <laughs> and he gave Aaron a way better fight than Rayner did. So I'm just like, yeah, like Aaron agrees with me. Aaron just said that in this episode. So I'm like, yeah, Rayner, just, just stop, bro. You're not strong. You're probably the weakest Titan, and you're an armored Titan. How are you an armored Titan and you're weak, bro? You're weak. And why is Berthal hiding? Like, this homie Rayner's about to get killed, and Berthal hiding. Where he at? Bro, Berthal been a scary cat, bro. He been a scary cat. Anyway, man, so let me finish this up. Aaron, he's fighting Rayner. He's destroying him once again. Just like beating him up. He's even talking shit, too, during the fight. And he's hyping himself up because he's saying, yo, I'm back home. This is my city. And y'all know what happened here, man. A lot of bad stuff happened, but I'm taking it back. And he says, yo, I'm taking it back. And he's hyping himself up. He's getting ready. And then Arwen has a quick flashback about, yo, he says he hasn't forgotten why he's here. He remembers why his dad did what he did. And his dad was trying to discover the truth. And that's exactly what he's doing himself. And, you know, Arwen just collects back on life about the times where he was, you know, a little kid trying to discover the truth and telling people about it. But now he stopped talking about it because he's... He's focused on protecting his people and he rose up to leadership and now people are following him and he's kind of living, you know, by his dad, his dad, you know, but doing it in a different way by being a commander. And I think that was a dope moment. Shout out Arwen. And then we see Rainer. He gets his get back. <laughs> Rainer gets his get back. Okay, Rainer, you, you, you could, you can't handle, you know, my boy Aaron's punches. So you have to grab his legs like a little bitch, all right? <laughs> That's literally what he's doing. Aaron is beating his ass up, man. He's giving him Mike Tyson punches, KSI punches. He can't take those hits, bro. He can't take those hits. He's like he's like KSI's, you know, KSI's um freaking what what I don't even know the dude's name, but KSI fought a while back and he fought this Mexican dude who's 23, a pro boxer. And I put quotes when I say pro boxer. You can't see me, but that's what I'm doing. Pro boxer. And then as soon as KSI punched him, bro, he's like, oh, I, why did I do this? Why did I sign up for this? Oh, I can't take these hits. I can't take these hits, man. And so, Rainer, you can't take these hits. You got to stop. You got to you gotta go for the legs. And, you know, this was a boxing match, but you started playing a different sport because you couldn't take those hits, Rainer. And anyway, man, the sky pull up Rainer Rainer and it's like oh wait so there's a trap no derp there's a trap bro you thought they were gonna not have a trap come on man Rainer dumb dude but yeah so there's a trap and he's thinking man all they got is those puny weapons they can't harm me but guess what the scouts made a new weapon called the thunder spear which can go through armor titans armor instead of those little blades that they have that broke every time they try to cut off the armored titan's neck these don't do that these pierce their necks and it actually blows up when it's inside their nape inside their neck region and that's exactly what happens and you know who's doing that to Rainer? who's sticking those spears down his neck his nape area it's his own former cadets sasha and Connie and all those other people, Mikasa, and then they really injured Rainer. Then they're set, having second thoughts like, oh crap, Rainer might actually die because of us. And then Jean pulls him back. He says, guys, you, we know we, we know what this meant to be a part of this scout regime. We knew the extents that was going to happen. We knew that this might happen. And he pulls him back. He's like, we got to do what we have to do. We don't care if he was our friend. He's our enemy now. And so they get the spears, all of them, inside his neck, man. All of them. And he even says, well, wait. <laughs> and no, there's no way, bro. You chose your side. I'm sorry. I have no sympathy for you, man. We don't even know the reason why you did this. So I have no sympathy. Maybe when I get to understand your story, I'll be like, oh, that sucks. But no, I don't care. So they got all their spears in his neck. And it blows up. And I'm just thinking... Rainer is about to die. Only reason why I don't think he's about to die, bro, is because usually when they kill off a character, they kind of have like 
you know, a little bit of a flashback, and there was no flashback. Like, they really about to kill this man with no flashback. That's tough. But let's see in the next episode, man. This has been a TV and movie podcast. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bless up and peace.